Hello friends, I welcome you all on India's largest live learning educational platform that is Greda. All the candidates who are joining me in this session just quickly tell me whether my audio and visual quality is okay so that we can proceed. Until you report me this, let me tell you today's session is going to be a very short session but it is going to be very interesting, very informative session because we are going to understand today one of the most open secret how does a mobile phone vibrate and let me tell you if you are seriously preparing for a good government job or any other private job even you may face this question if you are a, if you are an electrical engineer in your interview how does a mobile phone vibrate so just quickly confirm me all the candidates who are joining me whether my audio and visual quality is okay umakant harsh Manchal, Vishali, everybody, Namaste, good evening, how are you? Welcome to the session. Now, before we start the session, I want all the candidates who are joining me just quickly follow the LSS method. Do you remember what is LSS method? If you are attending my classes regularly, you will know what is LSS method. LSS method is if you do not want any of my classes to be missed by you, you must like this session, you must share this session, and you must subscribe the grade up gate youtube channel so that you get all my classes informations in time and you never miss any of my lecture one more important point i want to tell you if you see the description of this video in the description there is a link where you can click and you can follow me on the grade up app and you will never ever miss any of my classes that is great ajay kumar Jagannath. Okay, so let us start. Are you ready? Shall we start? Are you ready for the session? Please allow me to start the session. Now, before I start, one very important information to all of you that Grade Up Super is going to bring to you unlimited access to structured live courses and mock tests for all competitive examination. It means what? If you are joining this subscri subscription till 31st of August, you will be getting two times validity. It means if you are going for 12 month subscription, you will be getting 24 months validity and you will be able to access all the structured courses and mock tests which are available for your exam category. For example, I'm just giving you one information. Suppose you are preparing for ESC or gate examination or other PSUs which are equivalent to ASC gate or PSU. Suppose you are going for 12 month subscription. So you will be getting total 24 month subscription and you will be able to attend all the classes whether it is vision course, whether it is target course or whether it is ESC aim course or any other course for example bar course, ISRO course, lot of courses we launch time to time so if you are having a full fledged validity you will be able to attend all the sessions as and when required if you have any further information you require you can contact our backend team they are going to help you in the best possible way now some of you may be joining me for the first time my name is ashutosh sachena you can see my profile on your screen i have 10 plus years of teaching experience completed mtech from iit bhu in 2010 I have written two books, Engineering Ethics and Power System, Engineering Ethics book, 2019 edition. Already in market, you can see my name and Power System, 900 pages book I have completed, but it is still to hit the market. My areas of expertise are Power System, Electrical Machines, Electromagnetic Field Theory, Material Science, and obviously Engineering Ethics. Now, the first question that must be coming to your mind how does your mobile vibrates now if you want to understand then you have to understand that it's all started with a fault dekho beta zindagi mein jab bhi kuch acha shuru hota hai to uske piche kahin na kahin jo reason hota hai wo crisis hoti hai crisis is the real opportunity if you see it all started with a fault if there is a fault on your rotor in terms of rotor eccentricity what is rotor eccentricity you have to understand rotor eccentricity is related to non-uniform air gap non-uniform air gap it means what 
if there are two parts of your machine this is the stator part stator means stationary if this is the stator part and this is the rotor part this is able to rotate this is rotor part then what is happening in between the stator and rotor the air gap is non uniform so what is happening because of this non uniform air gap the rotor is having some eccentric you can say motion so that there are vibrations can you see the vibrations can you see the vibrations can you feel the vibrations now these vibrations non uniform air gap is going to give you the actual vibration for the requirement in your mobile phone actually we are using in everybody's mobile there is a dc motor there is a dc motor which is working 24 cross 7 at your rescue to help you identify all the calls messages which are coming to your mobile kitne logo ko ye baat pata thi jaldi se batao kitne logo ko ye baat pata thi ki aapke mobile mein bhi ek chhota sa dc motor baitha hua hai kitne logo ko pata thi yes or no tell me quickly now if you see the vibrations or the noise are directly related to the radial forces and the mechanical behavior if you see the characteristic of these forces depend on the air gap flux density and they are influenced by some other factors also for example stator slots poles saturation level winding type and certain faults it means there are lot of ways in which you can innovate so you can understand okay great great listen listen so there are lot of ways in which you can innovate if you can if you know if you know electrical machine well you can innovate a kind of vibration motor for the future mobiles okay if you want you can innovate also now there are certain types of vibration motors which we generally use in our mobile this is number 1 There is eccentric rotating mass vibration motor. अब देखो अगर इसको आसानी से एक सिंपल भाषा में समझना है सिंपल लैंग्वेज में समझना है तो कुछ ऐसा समझ लो कि ये एक ऐसा मोटर है जिसकी शेफ्ट पे एक अनबैलेंस लोड लगा हुआ है क्या लगा है इट इज हैविंग एन अनबैलेंस लोड इट इज हैविंग एन अनबैलेंस लोड ऑन द मोटर शेफ्ट सो वट इज हैपनिंग वेन एवर यू आर गिविंग सप्लाई Umakant is saying, "I am having a mobile course repairing. That is great. That is great, great, great. Umakant, you are doing great work. Now listen. Whenever you are giving supply, you are giving supply to the motor. What is happening? The motor is rotating, but because its shaft is having unbalanced load, it is actually creating vibrations, and these vibrations are actually notifying your all the calls and the messages and all the notifications. Are you getting this? But most important thing is you remember that it is a DC motor." the second type of vibration motor that we are using in our mobiles is linear vibration motor linear vibration motor is a kind of motor which you can understand which the mass in which the load is not unbalanced but the mass is moving in such a way that it is creating vibrations whereas in case of eccentric rotating mass vibration motor that is erm motor if you go to the market this is the popular name for the vibration motor erm motors erm motors are having unbalanced load connected to their shaft whereas linear vibration motors they are not having unbalanced load rather they are have they are having the motion which is creating vibrations let us see actually what why we are getting the vibrations this is how your eccentric rotating mass vibration motor looks like this is your unbalanced load are you able to identify the unbalanced load are you able to identify bharat started is asking sir which engineering field it belongs to it does not belong to any engineering field it belongs to general knowledge general science if you are using the mobile phones you must be aware enough that you are using a dc motor for the mobile vibration that is what i wanted all of you to understand because if you are going for engineering services dolpur house delhi for the interview they are going to ask you how your mobile is going to have vibrations and if in future you are going to prepare for civil services even for state civil services or any other good job 
This is the question which can be asked in your interview and you must be prepared for it. Now let us go inside this ERM motor which is also called as bar type vibration motor and try to understand its working principle. Very quickly, very fast, I am going to explain it. Now this is the unbalanced load. Can you see the unbalanced load? Can you see the unbalanced load? Now all the candidates who belong to, all the candidates who belong to the electrical engineering, you can understand this permanent magnet. I am asking you, if you are an electrical engineer, can you identify what is the purpose of this permanent magnet? Yes, it is going to, it is going to give you main field flux. If you are an electrical engineer, you will understand this. If you are not, no problem with that. Can you see your commutator? Can you see your commutator? What is the purpose of commutator? Can you tell me what is the purpose of commutator? As a true electrical engineer, you will understand the commutator has two purposes. <coughs> Number one, it is acting as a rotating rectifier. And the second one is, it keeps the armature flux is stationary in space. If you want to understand how, you have to come to my machine class. If you want to understand how commutator is acting as a rotating rectifier or how it is keeping the armature flux stationary in space, then you have to come to my machine class. But in simple terms, I am going to tell you, if this is your main field flux, this is the armature flux, this angle 90 degree is the load angle which is fixed for the DC machine. Bharat Sarati, if you even if you are not electrical engineer, you can you can ignore the electrical part, but you can understand the logic. Okay, everything we are uh, discussing in terms of logic. Are you able to follow this? These are the brushes. These are the brushes. Okay. And these are the feed terminals. Feed terminals means these are the terminals where you are going to provide the DC supply. Where you are going to provide the DC supply. Are you able to follow this? Now this is the linear vibration motor. Do you see? This mass is not unbalanced. This is not unbalanced mass. This is not unbalanced mass. But the kind of motion it is having, it is generating vibrations which is vibrating your mobile phone do you see do you see can you notice can you notice this is the actual construction of this this is called as coin type vibration motor why we are using coin type vibration motor you can understand its size its size is going to be around 2 mm can you imagine can you imagine you are using machines to such a minuscule level 2 mm motor you are using because your mobiles are going to be thin as thin as possible. Good evening, Akhila. How are you? Welcome to the session. Are you able to follow this? Are you able to follow this? Are you able to follow this? Clear? Now, the construction of this coin type vibration motor is little different from that of the, you can say, bar type vibration motor. But the beauty of this is, the beauty of this is that you can understand that you are having a 2 mm DC motor. Are you not excited? Are you not excited whenever you are having any old phone? See, if you are a true engineer, what I, what I used to say to all my students, you never read motor, you try to observe the motor. Vigneshwar is asking great question. He is saying which is giving more oscillations. This is giving more oscillations. Okay. It depends on a lot of factors. But as you are moving uh, uh, at, to the advanced level in the technology, definitely you are having more vibrations. So you can understand that the coin type vibration motor is going to have more vibrations. Is it clear? Now, actually, you can understand it looks like it looks look like a cell. It looks like a cell, but actually it is a coin type vibration motor. So if you are having if you are having your old mobile phone, do not throw away your mobile phone. Just try to open it and try to observe this motor. You will be having a smile on your face that till now you are using a DC motor in your mobile. Is it clear? So friends, this was the small story I wanted to discuss with all of you about the 
information how does a mobile phone vibrate i hope you must have got some idea about how your mobile is actually operating now let me conclude this session and let me again tell you that do not forget to like share and subscribe this video so that i keep on bringing to you lot of information which is required for your interviews so thank you so much for your time i hope you have enjoyed the session and you are going to join me in my next session thank you so much for joining me take care of yourself one more important point again grade up super is bringing to you unlimited access to the structured courses and the mock test for all competitive examination and till 31st of august if you are going to join you will be getting two times validity and for example you are going for 12 plus 12 months validity you will be able if you are choosing the gate or esc category you will be able to attend all the courses which are going to come on the grade up platform okay so friends thank you so much for your time i wish you all the best take care of yourself stay safe stay in your home follow the government regulations don't go outside and do not forget to join me again for some more interesting concepts and questions for your subjects electrical engineering thank you so much prep smart score better go grade up thank you so much take care of yourself